as Air Advisors, we equip, assist, assess, train, and advise partner nations uh, to create that interoperability uh, with partner nations in order to be able to have locations uh, in places that we don't normally go to. This week, we started the training with a little bit of high threat driving. Last week was our first week on the ground where the students went through four days of academic lessons where they learned how to work with an interpreter as well as how to teach cross-culturally. Our first field craft day started off with TCCC, which is our tactical combat casualty care. We also had tactical uh, urban environment day where it, it, we ended up using two days worth where we did dry runs and then followed by the following day we used uh, simulation rounds to give them that, that instant feedback as well as to better help them understand how to move, shoot, move and communicate uh, through urban environment. So this training is a really good uh, introduction to working with the other career fields, especially as a mobile training team here, majority, vast majority of the members are all from Anderson. So when we go to do advising missions, we're gonna be with a lot of the same people we're with right now. So we've already started to build that cohesion and learn how each other operates. So that way when we go visit another nation, we're not trying to figure it out on the fly. I believe that air advisors are essential because you can't do it all yourself. And that's true for people and for nations. We're only as strong as our partners in the region and keeping those relationships up are key, especially out here where we don't have a large land mass to move across. We have the islands and we have our partners on those islands.